RMN. Lora mga musina sa las 3.28 kita del tarde. Levanta Samuanga. Levanta Samuanga. Mga bisinas, buenas tardes otra vez. Bienvenidos a Kina Diaton Program otra vez mga bisinas na Radio Malaysian Wide. It's a Monday mga bisinas, June 16, 2014. Kita los teres. A Kina Diaton Ciudad de Zamboanga. Hopefully, in Bonavento, Estados mga bisinas. Primer dia kita del uh, semana. And uh, taruga kami kay... E po naman tayo sa uh, prinsipyo dahil semana mga bisinos sa uh, akin na dito na uh, siyudad de Sambuanga. Kami itong biyan, akin na radyo mo nation, why? Dahil liwa ko nasa dito sa mga total mga asuntos para diskuti. Ay akin na dito na dito na siyudad de Sambuanga. Uh, por medyo dito na dito na public service program mga bisinos from Monday to Friday, akin na radyo mo nation, why? Kami siyempre na sa kompanyero, aki si kasamang buong simbahon. Taman hong tukunas tayo. Sa salway ko kita alas 5 na dos uh, porsyon. Dahil di ato na uh, programa sa tarde mga bisinas. And for the first part, this afternoon, hong tukan ato mga bisinas di ato na uh, bisita aki na studio. Uh, we will be talking more about uh, the voice, no? Hindi aldi amun voice, akil takanta kita, ha? Hindi akil tanda sa tayo sa mga kompetisyon. But this is a different kind of voice uh, because... Uh, Tenara on uh, non-government organization mga bisino so we'll be up to uh, maximize uh, uh, activity and even participation of the public uh, about uh, how your voices can be heard no tena sila manera pakilaya ko na si Ase mga bisinos and let us know more about this one junto uh, kanato na si tarde el co-convenor del uh, Be My Voice Foundation Incorporated this afternoon mga bisino so we'd like to welcome you Uh, si Dr. Tina Loong uh, uh, kinadatong programa. Doc, uh, buenas tardes. Good afternoon to you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Buenas tardes. Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Yeah. Yan si Doc Tina. Okay, <laughs> that's the afternoon. Okay, Doc, uh, before we go further, no, uh, could you tell us more about uh, about this one? This is something new in, in my in my vocabulary, no? Ano uh, yung poste? Uh, Be My Voice Foundation Incorporated. Ano siya? Ano to siya, Doc? Uh, anong klaseng foundation itong uh, uh, The Voice? Well, Be My Voice Foundation Incorporated is actually focused on youth development mm -hmm. and when we say youth development we mean three things we hope to develop the youth's ability to think critically mm -hmm. we hope to develop the youth's ability to write analytically mm -hmm. and for them to develop the skill in which to speak persuasively mm -hmm. so to speak out themselves no uh, pero it's thinking ko, this will be a different uh, different voice because when we when you mention about the youth the voice of the youth uh, most of the common youth which we have here in our country you know uh, they they express their voice on the streets no but this is a different one <laughs> yes i think uh, we believe from be my voice foundation that it is important to develop the youth so that they become effective writers, speakers, mm -hmm. community organizers, and um, leaders mm -hmm. so that they can be at the forefront of um, issues and they can make a stand, a proper stand on issues and be part of the solution to the problem. Perhaps they have different perspectives mm -hmm. and views on how to help. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Now, uh, How, how 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 was this uh, created? Is this a new a new entity, a new foundation? Because uh, bago ko lang narating tong uh, Be My Voice Foundation. Eh. Yes, sir. It's actually a new foundation, and we're going to launch it on Sunday, mm -hmm. this Sunday, mm -hmm. at Gran Astoria Hotel um, in town. Mm -hmm. What uh, we have in partnership with the Wimsu League of Debaters, mm -hmm. um, we are holding the biggest debate, mm -hmm. uh, public speaking, and. Um, and essay writing mm -hmm. uh, exposition in the Sambasulta area. Mm -hmm. So what this, this event will foster um, active involvement of both Muslim and Christian youth mm -hmm. so that they, uh, on issues, critical issues that are affecting them today. Mm -hmm. Issues like what? Um, well, the upcoming GRP, MILF. Uh -huh. I think that we chose uh, topics that, will, that are timely 
and we think that uh, their analysis, their mm -hmm. perspectives, their mm -hmm. ideas, and their recommendations mm -hmm. will help our local leaders and um, in both in all in civil society, in uh, the economic sector, and in the business group. Mm -hmm. what, what made you decided and your colleagues in uh, convening this Be My Voice Foundation? Well, we want to leave a legacy, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to leave a legacy of a, a good community for our children. Mm -hmm. And we feel that this is the venue for uh, that to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? Uh, when you mention about debates, hindi lang yan basta basta. And you cannot just handpick uh, some people or some youth or some uh, participants so when you conduct debates. No? Because when you are a debater, you have to do a lot of research. You have to do a lot. You have to have a lot of foundation regarding the issues uh, you, which uh, you are about to discuss or to debate in public. No, uh, me myself, I'm also a debater. Maybe I can join. <laughs> oh, you're most welcome, Sir Bong. Uh, pero pero uh, you know, I, it's very hard not to be a debater, especially when you're in front of uh, the public. And it's good, no, for the many years that had passed. Uh, ngayon ko lang siya ulit narinig na mayroong ganitong classing foundation who are very much concerned in public speaking, you know, because uh, in the 80s during our college years in Wemsu, uh, you'll never, you'll never uh, pass your subjects nas and not unless you go for a debate in public, no? So, saka malaking factor siya because uh, uh, after, after graduation and then now that I'm working in the broadcast industry, malaking tulong talaga, no? Because when you are used to public speaking, uh, for the youths who are watching and listening to us right now, uh, when you're used to it, hindi uh, ka nakakabahan when you speak in public and any issues and concerns which we have, you know, it will be very, very much helpful. Now, pero, you know, when you talk about public speaking, when you talk about debates, alam mo, masyadong mahina ang hatak niyan sa mga youths natin eh. Uh, rather than, com uh, or compared to to computers or other mga mga gimmick gimmick ganun medyo nakakahatak siya compared to this mga public speaking how how would you go about it especially uh, ilalunch pa lang natin ang, ito siya so aside from from the league of debaters which we have in Wimsu and other uh, meron ka bang natapan ay mga other agencies or other institutions to to help you out with this Yes, actually, with the help of our, of our partner, Wimsu League of Debaters, mm. we have many participants from different schools. We mm. have actually signed up already almost 100 uh, mm. youth. Mm -hmm. And so perhaps that they're, they just don't have the opportunities here in the area to be able to um, engage in activities like this. But mm -hmm. we want to provide a venue mm -hmm. for this kind of um, uh, pursuit. Mm -hmm. Now you are still about to start, no? As uh, this one, itong uh, uh, debates and other public speaking activities, no? So until where and until when would this go? Uh, how far would it be? Uh, hanggang jan lang bayan siya, or you still have more other future plans to enhance or to maximize the Be My Voice Foundation? Yes, we're launching it here in Zamboanga, but we want to be able to reach the island provinces mm -hmm. as well. And we want to make this a regular, um, um, we, ha we want to hold regular activities of public speaking and mm -hmm. debates because it is only when the youth are able to practice and to exercise their skills that they will become effective leaders mm -hmm. in the future. Like you said, Sir Bong, mm -hmm. no, it, it requires a lot of research and it is only through research that we are able to seek knowledge. Mm -hmm. So I think this is very important. We think at the foundation that it's very important so that our future leaders will have a basis for their policies and their decision making. Yeah, and after the thorough research and then you will uh, impose it in public, uh, you will combine your experience and uh, the masterpiece of uh, being a debater, you will have a ng additional uh, factors in molding yourself no uh, for the better future especially itong mga youths no uh, bakit nakita nyo ba na bakit kailangan mag-focus tayo dito sa mga youths nakita nyo no ba na uh, there's a lot of problems being confronted by the youth sector now o nawawala ba sila ng landas kaya kailangan natin bigyan atensyon sa mga ganitong aspect Actually, sir, according to the United Nations, 65% of the world's population mm -hmm. age are belong to the age 40 and below group. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the and below, huh? yes, ah, kasama so, kasama tayo tayo. Oh, kasama so um, we are the majority of the world's population. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we are the greatest victims of 
social challenges mm -hmm. but at the same time we we are the greatest beneficiaries of a of an improved community mm -hmm. and that's why we should focus on the youth and uh, alam mo sa, sa United States and other European countries problema yung youth eh. Kasi yung mga, if, if you are up to the news lately, uh, just recently, yung mga uh, shooting incidents, uh, yung mga suicide incidents, bombing incidents are perpetrated by the youths. So, hopefully, hindi mangyari yan dito sa atin sa Pilipinas, particularly in Mindanao. Right. No? Because when they are being misled, uh, dyan na nangyayari yung ganyan. And then, psychologically unstable, yan din, magiging contributor din yan. When they are at a loss, magiging problema din yan. And hopefully with uh, the presence of Be My Voice Foundation, mga bisinos, no? uh, like you, you can reach uh, as far as you could no? para uh, at least ma-manorture ma, ma natin yung uh, uh, youths natin which is uh, a bigger number in population all over the region. Now, uh, when you will launch this one in Sambuanga City, uh, are you, are you, will you attempt to replicate the same, the same activity like in the provinces of Basilan, Sulu, Tawi-Tawi, the ARMM provinces? Yes, that, that is our plan and we're hoping that with our core group of debaters that they mm -hmm. will also be, uh, uh, they will participate in um, teaching mm -hmm. other youth from other provinces mm -hmm. how to become effective um, members of their society. Kasi, uh, because, sir, you know, there's a, instead of the, the energy of the youth, um, dissipating mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that the youth do not feel helpless or apathetic mm -hmm. and that's why we have to channel their energies into um, proactive um, activities such as this mm -hmm. in, so that they can help in community building okay so claro si mga vecinos no uh, otro tamen el la puntada del grupo de doctor Tina Luong no in molding the youths, the future of our youths, mga vecinos, through debates and being the voice of the people through the foundation, the Be My Voice Foundation. Let's talk more about the Be My Voice Foundation, mga vecinos, sa kinadatlong programa sa tarde, when we come back after, after these uh, few reminders. 